Hi, welcome. This is a five video crash course on how to succeed in modern motion design industry and accelerate your career in animation. In this first course, I'll teach you some of the basics of motion design and show you why it's an incredible time to add motion to your toolkits. If you're a beginner with zero experience or if you're pretty comfortable using After Effects but haven't been able to convert your skills into your earning power, this crash course is for you. I'll show you the exact steps you need to take to be able to win high paying clients and accelerate your motion design career. Let's jump right in. In this first class, we'll cover how to start a career in motion design and what you've been missing out on. So to kick us off, what is motion design? If you are older than 30, you may have heard of the term MoGraph, which is short for motion graphics. That's what people used to call these animated stuff and what you see on TV commercials. Now we just call it motion design. And what the heck is motion design? Okay, this is not actually an easy question, but to answer that to the best of my ability, it's a collection of overlapping skills that includes graphic design, animation, visual effects, editing, illustration, and interactive design. So when you're hired as motion designer, you could be doing all these different things I mentioned just now. Depends on the company who hired you. However, the foundation of motion design at its core comes from graphic design and animation, hence motion design. Now I'm just assuming you are already in creative fields, so some of this will be very, very familiar to you, which is a good thing. But even if you are just someone who loves animation and never learned art or design in school, that's pretty common as well, because a lot of the industry top artists are self-taught and they never go to school for it. The reason is because the industry is booming right now and nobody cares where you go to school as long as you do good work, great work. That said, motion design is one of the easiest industry to get into and it doesn't require a degree or a diploma at all. Now, some of you might get excited and pumped to try some animation and call yourself a motion designer. And some of you might still be skeptical about what I said on how easy it is to get into the industry. Well, there are some conditions to all that. It won't be easy for everyone as a lot of people struggle years to learn After Effects animation and never seem to get the hang of it. The animation aspect might be overwhelming and it's intimidating. Some of you have learned After Effects online for some time now and never been able to get client works as motion designer and convert your skills into earning power. The simple and ultimate truth is this. This is what 80% of people who wish to become professional motion designers don't get. And the remaining 20%, they do get it and go on to conquer the world of motion design and be able to beat up their competitors and work on the most exciting projects and win big clients and convert their knowledge into earning powers to live the best life they desire. Ready for the truth? Being good at Photoshop doesn't make you a good designer and being good at After Effects doesn't make you a good animator. Just like being good at using knives and cutting boards doesn't make you a good chef. After Effects is not the most important thing in order to become a professional motion designer. Animation is an art and there are principles behind that art. Some people refer to them as the 12 principles of animation. It's what make Disney animation so successful over the years and now it's been adapted to the modern motion design industry. Remember the 20% that's succeeding in the industry? They understand the art behind animation and these principles and how to apply them using softwares like After Effects, Cinema 40 and others. And how about the 80% that's struggling? These are the people who have lost sight on what's important and have taken a detour to achieve their goals. I'm not saying they won't get there. However, it will take them longer and probably some wasted time and efforts. Which group of people do you want to become? The 20% or the 80%? To be honest, I was the 80% of the people for the first five years of my career. Although I studied design in school, but that didn't help me anything on my way to become an animator. I try to find all the tutorials I can find online and learn as much After Effects as possible. While I was still working on my nine to five design job, I did so many tutorials and learned tons of tips and tricks and techniques that I never used for anything. And they're not applicable to any of the daily work as a motion designer even till now. I still have more than enough tricks I can pull from my back pockets than I'll ever need in my daily work. After five years of randomly learning tutorials online and wishing to become a better motion designer, you can imagine that didn't go well. I finally had this realization and learned what makes a great motion designer. I know what I did wrong and didn't get me anywhere closer to where I want to be. I then started to put my focus on learning the principles and the art of animation. And that's when I quit my design job and get into an ad agency as a motion designer full time. Also more than double my salary with the title change. Well, that's my personal story. If I can do it, you can do it too. Nothing will be in your way to prevent you from getting into the motion design industry and becoming the best animator you desire to be. Plus, if you let what we taught in this class sink in, you are already ahead of 80% of the people in the industry working their way into the field. Just remember what we taught in this class. 
Animation is an art. Start to learn the craft of animation instead of the tools, and you will be well on your way to be the best animators you can be. That's it for this first class. I'll teach you the number one overarching rule in animation, timing and spacing in the next video. Thanks for watching, happy animating. If you're still here with me, please leave me a like on this video and share it with anyone who wants to become a better animator or motion designer. If you like this video, I bet they will like it too. Thanks so much for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one.